So, in part two of Moonfist, and, and maybe especially part two of Pieces of My Heart Fist, I was just kind of struggling trying to describe what I was trying to describe, but hopefully there's still truth there. But, um, not to necessarily, like, take away or maybe to add, I don't, I don't know, but just, I guess maybe to add something to the equation, um, I did remember that, like, kind of earlier on after the situation happened with, like, the area where I kept my stuff, um, being worked on and what, and whatnot, um, I remember, like, it feeling like it would be freeing to just let go. Like, to kind of just stand up on that hill, a hill that now isn't even there anymore, but, by the way, the hill, like, that kind of has been created, even though that one hill has doesn't isn't anymore, the hill that's, like, kind of been created is, like, getting kind of huge, because <laughs> there's this hill that they're just, like, pushing, I don't know, maybe they're pushing, like, excess mud, dirt, ground, whatever to, but that is, seems, from when I look over there, it seems like it's becoming huge, that's at least how it seems, but anyway, um, but initially in this situation, like when they just started working on the place, I think I ended up feeling like it would be freeing to just maybe like stand up on that hill and at that point like maybe there would still be some stuff that was actually at that point I guess pretty much everything would still be there. Um, but I guess, it, I guess what I had in my mind, and at this point, this is even farther away now, so, but I think kind of what I had in my mind is that I just, like, all my stuff would be down there, like, down from where I was on that hill, but I guess there would be something to, like, just letting go and then but thinking beyond all my stuff that was on the ground and I don't know, maybe thinking like to all the stuff that I don't know if it's thinking to all the stuff that I've lost or I don't know if and I and I don't know if it's thinking to uh, to like stuff that I could get but it just there's something about feeling like it'd be freeing. To think beyond that sight. Or like that sight doesn't like, well, <laughs> I guess either version of the word, perhaps, but to think beyond that sight and just But an opportunity came to store to store stuff, and there was beauty that came from storing this stuff. So, but there would have been a beauty to letting go to keeping it. Just kind of having to be what God had in store. That there's just stuff that just worked out very well. <laughs> Like timing wise. In 2013, um, back when I was still in undergraduate, you know, I was a major in psychology and minor in writing. And for my advanced creative writing class, I had a novella one might say, called Blessing, which is what my name means, and, um, 
something that I learned in that season, maybe sometime in that year, perhaps, is kind of the idea that God is a master of timing. <laughs> Yo, and that's before me even experiencing what God did in 2016. So, like, dang. Maybe this dude actually is a master of timing. Because whatever I experienced in 2013 or around that time to think that then, I had not experienced what God did in 2016. So, like... But yeah, that's just something I kind of remembered as far as my, I don't know, my trying to remember <laughs> stuff or trying to figure out stuff in the second, in the second video for this series. Something I remembered and now I'm finally saying so, as far as like, that I would have felt free. <laughs> 